Hi guys, so today I have a review for you of um, Pull Up Snow Miku. She is a Vocaloid. Um, I believe Vocaloid is this, um, I don't know if this software, which is sort of like a synthesizer. You can make your own music or something like that. Um, but you guys can Google that information. I'm sure you'll find it. Uh, so they have all these characters. And uh, Hatsune Miku is one of the most popular ones. And uh, this one is the Snow Miku version. So this is the Snow version. And uh, she is a limited edition of 1000. And she's currently sold out on pull-up style. Um, I was kind of um, holding off getting her for a while because she was quite pricey on pull-up style. And um, she ended up selling out. So I was really upset about that. I thought I would never own this doll and then uh, someone uh, at a Facebook group called uh, Pull Up Sales was selling her and I actually paid a few bucks less than what she was on Pull Up Style and I'm just so glad that I was able to get her and uh, she's finally here. So uh, she is my first Hatsune Miku doll so guys I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I think I've mentioned this before but I live near a hospital so there's a lot of sirens going by. Uh, so let's take a look at her in the box. I love, you know, anything that's snow themed, so I think she looks really, really cool. But this is what she looks like in the box. And uh, she is a limited edition. I was kind of like, should I take her out of the box? But of course I'm going to take her out of the box. But that is what um, her box looks like. And this is the back. And as you guys can see over here, sorry about the shaky camera, this is Hatsune Miku, the regular uh, Hatsune Miku. So, um, let's take her out of the box and see what she looks like. Okay, so let's talk about what she comes with. So she comes with quite a few things. So for her price point, I think that, you know, it, it was worth it. Uh, so she comes with these little cute uh, headphones slash uh, earmuffs so here on the side you know they have the little um, snowflake drawing and then it has these little plush white plush um, material and um, it's, uh, it's, uh, the band here is kind of made out of um, the same material as her clothes are made out of which is kind of this um, I don't know if it's a vinyl or it's, it's kind of like that plasticky fabric. I forget the name of this. It's kind of like a pleather, maybe? Uh, yeah, in this blue color. It's well made, and uh, it comes with the microphone. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. She looks really cute with it, and I'll take some photos of her with it so you guys can see it, and I'll put it at the end of the video. So, it's, it's made out of a good material, you know, make sure... You can bend it a little bit to fit her head. Just make sure you don't do it too much because you don't want to break it. Uh, she comes with the um, leeks, which are this vegetable, but in this case, they have been, I guess, frozen to the point that they're blue and white. Um, unfortunately, her hand is not made with a grip, as you guys can see here. So she's not able to hold on to it. See, it won't fit in her hand So by herself. So... If you want to make her hold on to these, I guess you'd have to put some rubber bands on her hand. And they're made out of plastic. She comes with these cute little, um, um, glo well, they're not gloves, they're like mittens. And they also have the snowflake detail. Now, they're very tiny. I was trying to put her, put them on her hand and I kind of gave up because they're just so small to kind of open that little hole to fit her hand in. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it fits well once you get it in. It's just that I'm kind of impatient. So, yeah, but very cute, very uh, well made. She comes with these uh, um, silver hair clips, which are also made in the snowflake um, style. And the back is actually kind of like a bobby pin, as you can see. They're made out of, even though they look like a silver color, they're made out of a light plastic. I'll put them later on her head's hair so you guys can see what it looks like on her hair. And she comes with um, this as well, this um, scarf. It's kind of, yeah, it's a scarf. And it has, um, it has two um, 
we have two snowflakes at the ends in this little detail and it's just so soft guys you don't understand this is one of the softest fabrics that I've ever handled in my entire life this is wonderful so yeah she comes with this and she comes with of course the cutest thing ever which is this little sad snowman he's so sad look at this face why so sad maybe it's because it's spring and he knows it is about to melt but um yeah it's made out of kind of like a felt uh, material and this is what he looks like in the back and he's he has a scarf which is made out of the same material as um you know the pull-up scarf so it's very very soft and it's um so on in here so that I guess it can hold on and you won't lose it but um actually it's just sewn together yeah but you can probably pull it up if you wanted to uh, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna leave it on him but yeah you can probably take it off if you wanted to but he is really cute just so sad so it's quite a few things that she comes with um, so next let's talk about her stock what she's wearing here okay so let's talk about her stock so she's wearing her signature uh, Hatsune Miku outfit. Uh, the only difference is that this is the snow themed version. So she has her um, this uh, white vest and it's made out of this pleather but as you guys can see it's not as shiny as the rest of the other um, outfit. And uh, the enclosure here is by Velcro in the front. She also has this tie here. Um, the only thing is that the tie, the material is a little different. It's a softer uh, kind of pleather. Uh, it did come with this little line here, but um, it came out of the box like that, so I can't do anything about that. Uh, but it seems a little crooked, as you guys can see, the, the tie. But I don't think I can change that because it's sewn up here. And then it's held by this hook here, which you can remove and open the vest if you want. Um, and there's the... Uh, She's wearing this kind of a name tag here, but it says Vocaloid on there. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture that. And this is what it looks like in the back. And here we go. And uh, yeah, so there's also this kind of little, little detail here. It's almost like lace, I guess. Um, she's wearing this little mini skirt, which is a silvery uh, color in the pleather material. It's well made, you know. I. Personally, I'm not a fan of this material, and that's why it took me a while to kind of get this doll, because I was kind of putting it off, but she sold out, so then the minute I saw her, I was like, let me just get her, but, um, yeah, so it's this pleathery, shiny material with these details on there, and she has kind of this, um, it's almost supposed to be, I guess, a chain thing, which hangs from her skirt here, and it's also made of a soft, pleathery it's not that soft but it's I thought it was plastic for some reason it's not it's kind of like a pleathery material as well and underneath this she's wearing these really cute undies and she also has um, these uh, sleeves here which are also made out of this shiny material with the blue trim and this is what it looks like on the bottom and one thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about the doll is that she also has her number one Hatsune Miku tattoo. That's what it says on there. I don't know if the camera's going to capture that. And she also has blue fingernails. So that's a cute little detail. She also has her really cool boots. I love these boots. They're so cool. They're kind of a platform and it's plastic on the bottom and then the pleathery soft material. It's very soft. It's softer than the, the skirt for sure. Which kind of makes it easier, I think, for you to remove and put it back on. I thought it would be more difficult. So that's really cool. And yeah, it doesn't have any opening on the back or anything. But it's it's very easy to remove, though. You can put it easily. I was afraid it was going to be very tight, but it was okay. And then she also comes with... Let me lift this up a bit. These are little hair pieces here. This little square, which is made out of plastic uh, material. And it's held on here by a rubber band. And she has two of them. As we can see. And with her white stand. I don't remember if I had mentioned that before. Um, yeah, the white stand which will blend in, you know, with the snow theme. Okay, so let's talk about the doll herself. So let's start with her face up. She has this beautiful glittery 
uh, blue eyes. I hope the camera is able to capture that, which I hadn't noticed in um, her stock photos before. And I actually hadn't noticed when I first got her because it was kind of uh, dark in the evening. So now that I have natural sunlight, I'm able to see this better. And she's so pretty. I really, really love this blue uh, eye color with the sparkle of the um, glitter. So that's really, really pretty. Uh, she has blue eyebrows, which goes well with the overall look. And this cute little um, eyeliner here on the side, which makes her look very sassy, I think. Has a soft blush and soft pink lips. And uh, as you guys know, her eyes move side to side, and they can blink. And, um, yeah, her, uh, the eye eyelids are kind of like a little bit pink yeah they are a little bit darker than her skin tone they're like pink like the out outer um, makeup here that she has around her eye and some black eyeliner and uh, so yeah so I really like her face I think she's very cute very adorable face now let's talk about her wig this wig is one of the worst wigs that I've ever seen I have to say that and uh, it's kind of sad because you know She's quite pricey and she's a limited edition. I won't be changing her wig because of that. But, you know, try not to handle, I guess if you have her, one tip that I would give is not to handle her hair so much. I haven't handled it that much and it's, I'll show you guys in a minute, the bottom is very frizzy. Um, but it's very, like here is actually kind of soft, but the ends of the hair for some reason are just very rough and um, get frizzy very easily. I know in the stock photos her, they made her hair look more white, but it's really kind of like a light blue, uh, this lighter portion here, and then with some darker blue strands in the middle, which look really cool. I really like the effect of this. I just, the quality is really terrible. And as you guys can see here, um, as it's tied, you, we can see the wig cap, and I guess the glue kind of yellowed. Um, the tone there a little bit so that is kind of a uh, hideous and uh, I'm trying my best here to hide it like this but this side for some reason is worse so yeah so there's see some yellowing I think from the glue of the wig and we can see the wig cap so up here it's relatively soft but once we get here towards the bottom it's just very frizzy this side especially is worse just falling off I almost feel like I want to cut the ends, but I don't, I, I don't think that would help much. So she is wearing um, her signature pigtails. And as you can see, we have the darker strands here. This is what it looks like in the back. It's really messy and it's just, like I said, very rough. Uh, yeah, very rough. When I first saw it, I was like, wow, this is really terrible. But, um, I mean, she still looks very cute and it goes well with her overall look. But, yeah, just very, um, very bad quality, I think. This is the one uh, downside of this doll. So, but as you guys know, look, she has very long pigtails all the way down there. I will put some photos towards the end so you guys can see that. Um, but, yeah, the wig, the color, and the effect, you know, with the, the two layers is really pretty. But the quality, not so good. Just uh, two side notes I forgot to mention. Um, one is that her bangs, I guess you're supposed to kind of have them spaced out so that they don't cover her eyes. But it's very difficult to do, so it's kind of annoying that they're a little bit too long. And another side note is that when putting her on the stand, you got to really try to balance her out just because her hair is so heavy that she keeps kind of tipping forward or backwards. I mean, and... Uh, yeah, so just two side notes on that. So that was my review of Pull Up Snow Miku. Uh, as I said, she is a limited edition uh, to 1000 and she's part of, uh, I guess, a model for the snow festival that they have uh, in Japan, I believe. Uh, she is sold out on Pull Up Style, so now I guess you can look for her on eBay and maybe other doll forums and things like that. I just did a quick search on eBay just now to see what she was going for, and the cheapest one I found, I think, was going for $196, which is kind of sad because it's quite pricey. Um, I was very lucky to get this doll, 
uh, from the second seller for actually cheaper than what she was on Pull Up Style. I mean, this was just really a great find. So, you know, if you guys really, really love a Hatsune Miku, you know, and you really want this doll, you know, you're gonna have to shell out that money or try your best to hold out and maybe find a more reasonable price somewhere. Um, but if you like Hatsune Miku, but you don't, you don't want to spend so much, you can definitely still get her um, from Pull Up Style. I know Pull Up Style has the two versions, which is the original uh, Hatsune Miku, which is the cheapest version. And they also have the Sakura version, which is the, the all pink version, which is so pretty. And I really want to get her eventually. Um, yeah, so you can find them on Pull Up Style. I believe Doll Market may also have the Sa Sakura version. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And uh, if I forgot to mention anything, please let me know down in the comments if you, you have any questions. And um, don't forget to thumbs up this video for Hatsune, or Snow Miku in this case. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!